What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Now before we get started, if you guys want a free Forex training, check out the link in my description. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so you're updated on all my future videos that are coming out. And also, follow your boy on Instagram. Send me a DM if you need any help with trading and I'll help you to the best of my ability. Let's get into the video. topic I'm about to go over will be relatable for every single one of you watching this video. So we're going to go over how to control your impatience or how to become more patient. Okay, so you need to understand that you have this feeling of being impatient, but really at the end of the day, that's just a feeling. You gave yourself the thought that now gave yourself the feeling of being impatient. So the main reason why a lot of you are impatient, especially when it comes to trading, is because you're probably in a financial crisis. You're using trading as a way to make money, and that's not how it's going to work. I wish it worked like that. If you really think trading is going to be like that, you're probably going to have better luck at a casino. Just being honest with you guys. So if you're looking as trading to be a resort to get rich and out of this financial crisis, that's not going to happen. Your skill set is going to take time to understand, and once you have an understanding on how the markets work and how trading works, then you're going to see a breakthrough, Okay. Now, you need to also understand that you're probably comparing yourself to somebody else. Maybe you see my success. You see that I'm making $10,000 in a day and you're like, you know what? If he could do it, I could do it. But you're not really thinking about it in a logical standpoint. You're thinking of it as saying, okay, he could do it, I can do it. But you're not understanding that I have years and years and years of experience. I went through the trials and errors that you didn't yet go through. It's not a bad thing. We're all on a different stage in our life. So embrace where you currently are right now and understand that your chapter one is different from my chapter 30. Okay? You are in a rush. You're most likely seeing a trade and you're like, you know what? This is a good trade. I need to take it right now. And a lot of traders get very impatient when they see a big burst of energy, a big move in the market. They're like, oh my gosh, I have FOMO, fear of missing out. And they think that trade is never going to come again or there's never going to be another trade like that. Understand, guys, that there are going to be plenty of other setups. Okay? Now, how can we stop this? This is very important. You guys want to know how you can stop, can stop this impatient trait that you have had for years and also understand that if you are impatient it's most likely something that had happened in your childhood and i am very impatient as a person and it really was affecting my training for a very long time until i took control of it and then i thought back i was like you know what i remember being at family parties and asking my dad all the time dad when are we going to leave can we go home can we do this i was always in a rush to leave and I was never being present. So I want you guys to start being more present. Okay. Understand that this is not an emergency. When you have this mindset of impatientness, it's not an emergency, guys. Understand it's not an emergency. Tell yourself out loud right now, this isn't an emergency. Ready? Let's repeat it together on three. One, two, three. This isn't an emergency. Understand that. Okay. The markets will always be there, guys. There, there's going to be all these other trades that come. Understand that there's going to be more trades that come, better setups. So if you're looking at the markets and you're like, you know what, the setup looks really good. I'm not completely confident in it though, but I'm going to take it anyway because I'm in a rush. I'm impatient. I need to make this trade. Understand that there are going to be plenty of other trades like that. And if it's not your ideal perfect setup, it doesn't have low risk. You guys, it's not the right trade. Okay. Meditate. And separate, obviously spelled separate, bad, or didn't spell it correctly, my bad. But meditate and separate yourself from your computer when you feel impatient. What you could do, if you're feeling impatient and you're like, oh, I need to take this trade, I'm about to take it. Just take, take, take a step away. Go in the fridge, get a water, get a little snack real quick, a bite to eat. Maybe get on the ground, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, whatever you need to do to stop yourself from making that irrational decision because that's an irrational decision you're about to make and you're not thinking about the repercussions. So really sit back and be like, okay, what are the repercussions of this though? This trade does have a pretty big stop loss. Um, I might lose money. I might lose 25% of my account. Understand that impatience goes into other categories as well. Greed and impatience go together with trading because if you're impatient, 
you're going to be very greedy on a trade versus thinking about in a, a, in a rational standpoint where you're like, you know what? This probably isn't smart for me to enter this big of a loss size. Let me sit back. Let me enter a smaller loss size. Okay? These are day-to-day -day exercises that you can use. These are things that work for me. Every single one of us, we have traffic at some point in our life. Whether we're in the car with somebody or we are driving, when you're in traffic, you need to start asking yourself, why do I feel like I'm in a rush? Why do I feel like I'm in a rush? Why do I need to be there? Okay, I might be late for my job by 10 minutes. Am I going to die? I'm most likely not going to get fired. I'll explain the situation. Maybe if I'm in a rush, maybe that means that I need to wake up a little bit earlier. Maybe I need to take responsibility for why I'm late. So you really need to think in a standpoint of, okay, I'm, I'm rushing right now because I'm going to be late to work. But it's my fault that I'm going to be late to work because I woke up late. I wasn't responsible for my actual life and what's happening. Now I'm, I'm going to suffer the consequences. And really when you guys are having these negative feelings or negative events going, in your life, going on in your life, understand that you can do two things. Two things. The first thing, you can feel those feelings and you can experience it. Or you can say, do you know what? I'm just witnessing it. I'm witnessing these occurrences come into my life and these feelings, but I'm not going to take it personal. I'm not going to hold on to that feeling. Understand the feeling. Understand how it feels to be impatient. Understand how it feels to be rushed, unhappy, sad, angry, whatever it is, whatever emotion it is. And say, you know what? I don't like that emotion. I'm not going to hold on to that. I'm going to surrender it. Okay? Surrender that feeling of impatience. Know that that's not your identity. You guys don't need to hold that. And I know that you guys are probably hearing a completely different side of me. Let me know if you like this video below. Let me know if you want more psychological videos like this so I can help you guys out with the trading in your day-to-day -day life. Okay? When you're feeling impatient, this is something that works amazing. So I'll just close my eyes. I'll scoot back from my trade station. And I'll just breathe. And when I'm exhaling... I'm exhaling all that negative energy out. I'm breathing out as hard as I can. Just, I'm surrendering that feeling. I don't want it anymore. Don't be a part of my life anymore. I don't want this impatient feeling. Do that for about a minute. After that, you guys are going to feel amazing. Okay? Whenever you're confronted with the need to feel impatient, control your urge and mask it. Like I said, do a breathing exercise. Go get some water. Do some push-ups. Whatever works for you. Maybe go outside real quick. Do a couple jumping jacks. Run in place. Scream. Woo! I'm so thankful that I'm in, that I'm a patient person. Whatever you guys need. Test this stuff out. But I'm letting you guys know that this is not your identity as a trader. Do not let your impatience, this urge that you guys have, define you as a trader and lead you to failure. Because it will if you do not get a grip on it. Okay? The result... Over time, you will become less and less impatient. Understand that the feeling of impatience is just a made-up story in your head. It's just a thought. But the thing is, the very important thing that I want you guys to leave this video with is you get to decide whether you're going to give it meaning or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.